Hey everyone, I'm Cecil Weeks, and welcome to another edition of Cecil in the City. And this episode, I'm going to list the documents that you typically need to rent an apartment and qualify for that brand new, fabulous place that you love and, and, uh, and finally caught your eye. So the first thing you're going to need is the most important thing, it's the letter of employment. The purpose of this uh, document is to prove to the landlord that you can truly afford it, you truly qualify for the apartment that you've sought after for weeks and finally found. What this letter typically contains is your salary, your current position, and how long you've been employed. Uh, most landlords want to see all three of those things, and therefore this employment letter is its pretty much one or two paragraphs, and that's it. Uh, what most people don't know is uh, most landlords are okay with you writing this letter yourself and then getting it, and this is key, signed by your supervisor or HR. The reason I include this is a lot of HR departments uh, have this long, drawn-out process where they take two to three days, to, weeks to get you the letter. You cannot find your apartment and then wait weeks to get these letters in. Most landlords want all the documents they require within 24 to 48 hours. So if you do run into that issue where your, your HR department is telling you, oh, no problem, we can get that to you in two weeks, don't wait. Write the letter yourself, include those things I mentioned, and then, of course, have your manager or supervisor or someone in the HR department sign off on the letter that you have rent written. And so that's the number one thing, letter of employment. The second thing is your bank statement. Um, most people think that maybe this bank statement is, is there to show a large significant amount in your account, and that's actually not the case in most cases. Most landlords just want to see that you do kind of manage your money well, and what that means is that you don't overdraft on your account. So most landlords aren't looking for some huge sum. Your employment letter already proves what you make. They're not looking to see that you are manage your money, managing your money wisely and do not overdraft on anything. The uh, third document is the tax returns. Serves the same purpose as the first. Uh, this is probably the most optional. Uh, a lot of landlords don't re require this, but m there are quite a few that do require this third document. The fourth, very easy, is just going to be a copy of your photo ID. Most landlords do have photo, you know, Xeroxes in their office they can use to make this, but it's not a bad thing to go ahead and carry that in a nice manila folder around with you, uh, along with the other uh, items I mentioned. That's pretty much it. With uh, a couple of landlords, you're going to see them want one more thing, some of them want one less thing. If there is another item, sometimes it is a reference letter from your previous landlord. But nowadays, I would say it's 50-50 on whether or not you're going to run into a landlord that wants that document. They pretty much trust that you're, you're going to be fine. Um, and the key piece of advice I want to give here is, is, is in saying that you should actually have these documents before finding the apartment that's right for you. An issue that I often run into with my clients is 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 having them find the apartment they want, not listen to uh, what I said earlier about trying to get this all together. They find what they want, they put an application in, and then they take a couple days to get these documents together. Somebody else comes in there and swoops in under them and has all the documents and takes the apartment. It's quite common. Usually it doesn't happen with me. I do prepare my, prepare my clients well, but I've seen it happen all over the place where I've actually had my clients be able to take an apartment from someone else who already put an application on something else because I prepared my clients well. They saw an apartment, they liked it, they came in there, had the documents ready, gave it to the landlord right then and there. The landlord took them over the other people who were taking forever to get their documents together, and we got the apartment. Um, and, and you don't want to be the person that submits an application, takes two or three days to get these documents together, and then has somebody like myself come in with their clients and take it from you because we were well prepared. So that's my advice to you. Have these documents ready. Do not wait to find the right apartment to get them together. Get them together early, and you will have a much more uh, pleasant experience in your apartment hunting. So that's it for today. That was quick uh, but key. Uh, I hope that helped out. Happy hunting.